guys welcome to this week's video and also welcome to no thank you week three of vlogmas cody is here with me trying to eat my fingers no thank you she's literally filthy from the field yesterday i'm a bad owner and i've not brushed her yet but i am going to be giving her a brush today because i'm going to be doing a tack up and ride with me i actually filmed this video last friday evening but when i what are you doing? Yeah, so I actually filmed this video last Friday evening with the help of Mum who assisted with polls because we are gonna hopefully be doing some poll work today. But when I watched this footage back, I realized that it was too dark, you couldn't really see anything and it just wasn't that great overall. So hopefully we're going to refilm it today, aren't we Cody? Day is Wednesday, so that means that Cody is in off the fields on a Wednesday. She goes out every other day. She was out yesterday, she's in today. So I thought what better way to do it than doing some Christmas pole work. I'm gonna show you guys how I usually tap Cody up. So I'm gonna get this pony brushed. I'm not gonna show you that because that's pretty boring. And then I'm gonna set some poles out and I'll tack up and take you along with me. the Christmas tree is looking. I ran out of poles so I've had to use dressage boards but you get the idea. Hopefully Cody won't bother too much at them. And then I use the short working hunter poles just for the um, stem of the tree if you will. I think that was too bad. To be honest I've not actually strided it out. I've just strided out this one for so I've just strided out the stem for trot poles, normal trot poles. Um, I don't know how I'm going to stride the tree out, but I'm hoping it will just work. Fingers crossed it will just all come together naturally. <laughs> and if not, then I'll just play with parts of the tree or even just the stem. I've just given Cody a really brief, very brief groom. She's still got mud all over. She wouldn't let me groom her head so she's got a muddy head but I've done the best that I can but I am trying to race against the weather basically it goes dark at like two o'clock here in the UK no thank you um so I thought I'd just give her a quick flick over and then get on her and just make use of the little bit of light that we've got left this afternoon just had her up outside in her rug she is clipped so I don't want her getting cold so I'll just leave her fleece on her whilst I pop her boots on which I'm going to do now. So the boots that I'm using are the Lemieux Pro something, Pro Sportive, something like that, boots. You'll see what I mean. I think they're called medicine boots. And they look like this. You'll have heard me speak about them in my previous videos. I didn't actually want red ones, but they were the only ones they had left in stock. So red it is, which actually goes with our Christmas theme today. So red is actually not too bad today. I also popped on some overreach boots for Cody um, for obvious reasons. So yeah, I'm going to pop all of these on now and then it'll be a case of saddle and bridle. So Cody has a full set of the Lemieux boots and this is what I'm doing here, just popping them on and also popping her overreach boots on too. The overreach boots that I use are like the um, fabric material ones, I think they're Shire's ones, um, but I'm hoping to get some plastic ones too. But yeah, just overreach boots on the front and then her Lemieux boots go on all fours. I feel like they're really good and supportive, you can see that they wrap around her fat lock too. Um, and they just take her rug and her bib off once I've done on this um, as I said before she is clipped and I want to keep her as warm as possible for as long as possible before I put her saddle and her ride on rug on and then her bridle as well so I've just put Cody's boots on I'm gonna put her saddle on next today I'm gonna to be using her dressage saddle she has three different saddles she has a jumping saddle a dressage and a hacking saddle but obviously today we're just doing flat work and pole work so I'm just gonna use her dressage saddle my friend Jen who is another really nice lady on the yard kindly made us a little festive saddle cloth I don't know if you can see it but it's just Santa red with the white um, fluff around the edge and then it's just got a little silver star on the bottom how cute is that so 
Obviously Cody is clipped so I do tend to have a ride on rug on her which is her new market one this one so I'm gonna pop that one on her as well just so she is warm enough and then I'll pop this over the top. Oh, it's true this part of the year has something in store for us. We're falling in love. Oh, I just forgot to mention this. This is the Levet Fomo massage. Um, I bought this a few weeks ago. You will have seen it in one of my videos. And I just tend to pop this on Cody's back just where her saddle patch is on her clip so I just pop it on there and massage that into her back I think it's meant to kind of like warm up the back muscles um, it's like a massage gel so I just tend to do that I've got to show you that but I do that first and then I pop on her numbers So with Cody's girth, I like to slow girth, and what I mean by that is I have the this side on what its normal um, kind of hole would be, and then if I come to the other side, I've literally just got it on the first one and then the second one. So like most horses, Cody tends to breathe out, and she's not a huge fan of having a girth done up. So I just pop it on the lowest kind of holes, and then as she kind of gets used to it being on, then I bring it up and up, and then by the time that she's warmed up from the saddle, then it's usually back up to its normal hole. So I did put Cody's Christmas saddle pad on, but unfortunately it doesn't have a fillet string, so it kept blowing up and I had to take it off in the end. Next up is Cody's bridle. Again, Cody has three bridles, just one bridle that we use for every day and then she has a dressage bridle and she also has an eventing slash cross country bridle. This is her everyday bridle. It is from Decathlon, I think it's about 40 quid. It's actually really good, it's lasted her a really long time and I also literally just bought another Decathlon bridle. Cody, please stand. Okay, well done. Um, I just bought her another decathlon bridle as her new event bridle. I also always pop on a little bit of, um, this is petroleum jelly, but it's basically just Vaseline, um, on the corners of Cody's mouth, just to act as like a lubricant, like lip balm almost. Just because I'm a little bit soft, um, I like to think that she is comfortable with her bridle. Oh, to me it's perfectly clear So I put the Vaseline on the corner of Cody's mouth and just rubbed that in. Uh, like I said, it acts like a lip balm and I just like to know that she is comfy. Um, then I pop a head collar just around her neck to make sure that she's not going anywhere whilst I put her bridle on. Um, and then I just like to, she's actually pretty good at taking her bit. Um, she will take it on her own, but I just like to put my hand there so that I know it's not gonna clang against her teeth. Make sure her ears are all comfy, and make sure it's sitting comfortably on her face and tuck everything into its keepers. And then I'll pop her head collar back on um, in its normal place just whilst I get myself ready so that she can't wander off anywhere. Now Cody's ready, so it's a case of getting myself ready. So I'm just popping my very dirty, very stinky riding hat on. I can't be the only person that has the most horrendous everyday riding hat ever and just refuses to do anything about it. Obviously it still works fine but it's just very grubby and very sweaty and I don't do much about it, I just leave it. Then I'm going to take my everyday riding boots which are equally as dirty and pop them on and finally I'm going to put on my filthiest item of all which are my everyday riding gloves for flat work schooling obviously i tend to use a long schooling whip um i have a few different whips but the one that i'm going to use today is this one which is just a long black plain schooling whip without a handle because my instructor barbara will tell me off if i use a handle it's cold outside keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and 
And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow is Actually a few days later now I forgot to end the video so I thought I'd just quickly jump on and thank you all for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this week's video and hopefully you are enjoying our vlogmas series so far. If you did enjoy this week's video then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly videos. We post every Sunday at 6pm. Also feel free to follow us over on our Instagram page. Our name is Adele Equine and I'll pop links to that directly in the bio down below too. Again thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!